Hello, hello. What? It's another Tuesday here on the YouTubes, and I'm back with more Black Mesa. Let's go ahead and load up the security office save that I had from earlier in the previous video. Um, I found my way to a safe haven. You know, negotiated some uh, some waterways there. Uh, not without at least one death, unfortunately. But uh, hey, I persevered, and I got to this security office. Get myself healed up. And I picked up another clip of pistol ammo, which could uh, come in pretty even valuable. And what's on this mug right here? Ah, uh, it looks like I can't really get a good angle on it. But, um... Two of the same dude? <laughs> anyway, uh, looks like the system is still down. Things aren't looking too good at the Black Mesa Research Facility. And this charger is empty, just my luck. I wonder if that charger would have been full, or at least partially charged, on, uh, on easy. Anyway, this looks promising. Looks like it's going to operate the freight elevator that we saw outside, so let's go ahead and use that to get to another part of the facility. And another head crab, or maybe it's the one that we had earlier, so... Stop it dead in its tracks, and move on. wonder if this is going to be like uh, one of those scenarios where head crabs continuously fall. <laughs> I'd, uh... Oh, jeez, did I just jinx myself? Looks like that guy just fell off to his death. Oh, there's another one. Looks like they take about five damage per hit. I'm wondering if I can dodge most of these guys. Two, three at a time. Jeez. Uh, the creepiest thing about these guys is that they remind me of those big hairy tarantulas. I don't know about you, but uh, I am not a fan of large spiders or any kind of tarantula, especially, you know, anything that's hairy. Man, these guys are eating me for lunch. Ow. Probably should pay more attention to my surroundings here. I am down to a quarter health. You know what? I'm just going to crack out the pistol. Are there any survivors? Oh, jeez, okay. I'm gonna wait for that guy to get clear of cover. And, uh, you know, in hindsight, I probably should have made my way to that office there when I saw it, but I only caught a glimpse of it on the way down since I was being overrun by these head crabs. Um, wow, look at Gordon's gloves. Pretty messy job. Alright, good. What a boon! We found a first aid station. All right, looks like that thing shut down. Um, is there anything else remotely useful here? Probably, probably need to go down that hallway to progress the game, but uh, for now, let's go ahead and see if I can open this door. Ah, would have been too good, huh? And I'm not sure if there's anything down here in the water. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything here, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue down the hallway. Shame that, uh, yeah, we couldn't really go up there. I think I missed an opportunity to do that. Doesn't look like there's any way to get back up there. Is this door openable? Mm -hmm. Guess not. This guy had a ton of ammo. Perfect. Sorry I couldn't get here in time, buddy. <laughs> For some reason, that puddle freaked me out. Sounds like a new enemy type. Wow, that whole floor just collapsed. Unfortunately, did not take that head crab with it. Yikes. Alright, let's go ahead and see if we can continue through this door. It looks like it's one of those doors that don't open. Yeah, mm -hmm. so uh, we're going to have to do some puzzle solving here to get across. Uh, what it looks like is we're probably going to have to use the, the tubes on the wall here to go across... I don't think we're going to jump to this platform. We're probably going to get our way into that uh, that vent over there. So let's go ahead and do that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, Gordon. Work with me here, buddy. All right. I mean, that head crab probably doesn't have enough jump to, to get to that platform. So I don't think I'm going to waste a shot on him. Oh, what a failure. Probably need to do the sprint jump. There we go. 
Whoa, it's that guy. That's what took out the floor from earlier. I don't think those guys can self-destruct, per se. But, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I wonder if I could fall through that gap. That's what I was worried about earlier. But, uh, I, I'm guessing that platform was already unstable, so when that dog, or whatever that thing was, used its, uh, its attack, then it, uh, it pretty much rendered the whole thing unstable and just, it just collapsed on itself. Okay, uh, like I said earlier, I don't think that head crap's gonna bother us, so I'm gonna leave it alone. Perfect. And I'm into the vent. There we go. Yeah, the whole jump crouch thing is something I'm gonna have to get used to for sure. Alright, so one death later. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm into the vents here. And again, yeah, here's one of those loading screen issues that, whoa, right into the red light, that, uh, that are all throughout Black Mesa. So if you're running this on uh, you know, a more powerful computer, uh, hopefully those are mitigated somewhat. I know I'm running a, a Linfield Core i5, uh, I think a 750, and uh, it's not overclocked. And I'm also using an NVIDIA, uh, I wanna say a 460, a one gigabyte 460. Either way, I mean, this game is several years old uh, because of the fact that it uses Source. I think Half-Life 2 came out in, what, like 2004 or something? Uh, you know, the middle of the last decade, so... You know, this isn't uh, a demanding game by any means, but... Huh, it looks like there's another vent here. But, um, yeah, for some reason those loading screens, those loading periods are pretty long. Whoa, looks like there's a new enemy type down there. And it is just cleaning house with those headcrabs. I wonder if I can take it out with that barrel. Oh, shoot! Warning. Hazardous chemical detected. Wow, look at that. Looks like this green goop also affects the uh, the texture on Gordon's suit, and it fades away. Anyway, um... Yeah, hopefully... Hopefully eliminating that thing was a good idea. I'm probably gonna have to go down there later because of all these barnacles, so... I hope I made the right choice. Oh, and... <laughs> I think I did, because I am going down right now. Okay. Is there anything around here? Nope. Um, what do we got here? What do we got? Uh, huh. For some reason, those looked a little bit new. I thought uh, you could break them for whatever reason, but whatever. Yeah, I think uh, killing that guy with a barrel was a good call. Looks like there's some energy down there in a first aid station. First aid station is closed. Well, at least I got some armor. Looks like these barnacles aren't going to bother us. At least for now. And it doesn't look like I can make my way around this way, so I'm going to have to go through the wreckage here. I think. And possibly swim across. Okay, let's go ahead and give this a shot. I don't think there are any swimming baddies yet. Oh, no. Drop me. Jeez. Yeah, probably should have taken a barrel and activated him first. Alright, anyway, let's try this again. Jump crouch. And I wonder if this is too steep for me to climb up. Yeah, it looks like it. So... Let's go ahead and go through here first. Maybe there's some kind of uh, pathway down here in the waterways. Okay, those are grills, so I can't get through there. Looks like this pathway's open. Right here on the far right. Let's go ahead and swim past the barnacles. Alright. And there's a ladder. Perfect. Looks like this guy's gone, but... Uh, Looks like he didn't make it to the first aid station in time. Wow, this one's got a large capacity, so I might be coming back to this later. Hopefully I don't have to use it, though. <laughs> Actually, that first aid station is probably for the guys who didn't take out this guy uh, earlier. This huge lizard with the artillery. Thankfully there's another door. I thought I heard scurrying. Probably it was just me. Yeah, 
probably just me. <laughs> know your fire exits in a maze of a cubicle system right here. Alright, anyway, let's go ahead and head up. We just exited the lower canal, apparently. Whoa, some screen tearing issues here. Didn't really notice it before. Wear hearing protection. Ah, it's probably because of all the heavy machinery in here. <laughs> Just trying to take in this, uh, this music, but, uh, you know, if there's anything that screams a platforming sequence in a video game, this would be it. Alright, let's see if we can make our way up. This definitely looks like a platforming sequence. We're probably going to have to jump from up here, and we're going to have to make our way down to that far station. Looks like uh, station number three. Or or whatever this is. Because <laughs> that says three, too. Another security office? I uh, wonder if we can get in somehow. Doesn't look like there are any collectibles in there. And another locked door. Alright, so this... Ought to be fun. Again, it looks like we have to make our way down to the far side of the room. Oh, looks like we're off to a promising start there with me falling off. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, if, uh, if there's one thing that this Let's Play will clearly demonstrate, it's that I am terrible at platforming sequences, so, uh,. Yeah, don't worry guys, if I, uh, if I die multiple times here, I am definitely going to cut that out so that uh, you can just watch the uh, level advancement. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'll see you guys in a bit. This, this might take a while. Alright guys, well, I finally, after about three minutes of trial and error, finally made my way across this gap. Um, yeah, there's uh, no doubt going to be a lot of editing to be done in this video, but let me go ahead and clear this last jump. And uh, I think I'm going to call it quits here uh, for now. So in the next video, uh, we're going to go ahead and proceed through this white door. We finally made it through this uh, this crane sequence here. And uh, yeah, it looks like i got to wait for my frame rate to stabilize. It looks, uh, looks a little choppy. But uh, either way, I'm going to go ahead and uh, see you guys next time. So like, favorite, and subscribe to see more of my uh, jump, uh, my jumping failures. <laughs> I don't know what else, how else to describe it, but uh, that's, uh, that's going to be it for now. So until then, take care and peace out.